Alongside curling, golf, football and rugby, Shinty has formed a dementia help organisation under the new Heritage Scotland structure. The Shinty's Memories group tries to stimulate the memories of those who live with dementia by using Shinty memorabilia as a trigger. Our main target audience is quite simple. It's, it's people, and that includes families of people who are actually living with dementia. And the vocabulary is very important because we never talk about people who are suffering from dementia. They're actually living with it in all sorts of different ways. And there are different forms of dementia. So not everybody has to be treated the same way. There's a whole range of uh, ways of tackling uh, people's memory recall now in terms of helping them with dementia, whether it's music, dance, it can be physical, uh, golf for example, you can take people out and practice putting with them. It's slightly more difficult for us at Chinti, as, as anyone can understand, to recreate a, an actual play, but if you take it down to its simplest level, where you have something like a basic Shinty ball, an old ball for example, you could discuss the types of balls it, 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 it boils down to being, I suppose the simple way to explain it is to be touchy-feely, where it's tactile, where somebody has to engage with the object. Where, now that object can be the ball, it can be the stick, it could be the sound of a whistle. The shinty ball I think is one of the best because everyone can debate which type of ball was the best ball. They usually end up saying it was the McKellar ball, but this was a good ball or a bad ball. When we're dealing with sticks, I think the, the important point about sticks is the shape of the sticks, the style of the sticks, the names of the stick makers, for example, is one of the most obvious names that the people in that window of dementia that we're dealing with would be uh, a, a stick made by John McPherson, for example, the, the famous stick makers in Inverness who made sticks for years and also supplied balls, and they are stamped on the stick, you know, the clear stamp of, of John McPherson. We've also got the older chessies. I'm sure younger players will not have a scooby about what a chessie was, but it was basically a piece of chestnut wood which was moulded into the shape of a stick, a shinty stick, and they were famously used a lot in Newt Moore, for example. Some of the greatest players ever in Newt Moore learned to play shinty with a chessie, and I think, myself, if you could play shinty with a chessie, you were going to be a good player anyway when you look at the shape of the stick, but they can feel the knots on that because it's not like a modern laminated stick. You can run your hand along the length of the, the chassis and actually feel the real knots in the wood and you can then see the John McPherson. You can see where it's been scraped, say on the school playground, the bottom of it, and that then brings them back to their childhood. And even if we just get snippets, it, uh, it can be the slightest thing. We've achieved something, but you have to give them something because you remember that there is there is nothing for them to pin their memory on but as soon as you offer them something and you might by chance come up with something in it and, and you've just got to latch on to that and follow it so basically touchy-feely tactile visual and audio whole range of senses uh, and the important thing to remember is not every person will deal with it in the same way so what works for one person might not work for the next person but generally speaking, we'll find something that helps them. Although the Shinty's Memories Project can't offer a cure to dementia, they do offer a brief release to not only those who are directly living with dementia, but also those who care and support for them.